Okay, so now we're going to talk about the gross anatomy of the lung. And gr when we talk about gross anatomy, these are basically the things you can see with the, the naked eye. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing you're going to see is that I'm going to do my best to draw a lung here. I'm going to come up like this and then go down like this. And then we're going to cut across like this and go up like this. Okay, this is going to be the right lung. And remember, we look at this from the patient's side. So your right lung is on the right side of your body. Okay, even though you're looking at this, it looks like I'm pointing to the left. Remember, it's on the right side of your body. And then I'm gonna draw another one over here. Okay, and that's now going to be my left lung. Okay, so this is my left lung that's over here. Now, if you remember, we had the trachea, which is going to come down. It, car it carries air from, the, uh, from outside the body. So we have, we have the trachea up here. And then if you remember, we had the trachea splitting off into two primary bronchi. All right, so th those were our primary bronchi right there. Okay, and then remember, if you remember, we'd split from there. So here's the thing with the, we're going to start with the, the right lung, is it's split up into different lobes. So we have a, uh, a line that goes like this. Uh, it's called a fissure. Okay, and then on the right lung, we have another one that goes like this. So as you can see, in the right lung, we have three lobes in the right lung, okay? This is going to be called, I hope I can fit it in here. I should have maybe written this a little bit bigger, but this is going to be called the superior lobe. Okay, this is my superior lobe that's right here. Okay, and then we're going to have the middle lobe. Which, as you can see, the middle lobe is in the middle. And so if I have a superior lobe, I must have a inferior lobe. Which is down in here. And then on the other side, I just have a superior lobe. And I have an inferior lobe. Okay, and then at the bottom of these, I'm going to write this in a different color. I have, on each of these, I have a base. Okay, and one thing I should have done, and I didn't, was on the left lung, on the left lung, I have something called, I have an indentation called the cardiac notch and you could probably figure out what goes in the cardiac notch the heart so the left lung actually has a little indentation for the, for the heart to go in there okay then at the top of these at the top of each of these i have I wonder if I can write up high enough. I have an apex. There's an apex. And there's the apex. The apex is actually goes all the way up by the collarbone. Okay, so you can see it down here. I have the base. And then up here I have an apex on each one of these. 
Okay, and um, this apex is actually going to go up so high; it's actually going to go above your your first rib. Down here, by the base, you are going to have. I'm going to draw it right up over here. This is your diaphragm. And if you've ever gotten the hiccups, it's because this is in spasm. Your diaphragm is in spasm. Okay, and that's basically the gross anatomy of the lung. Just one last look there.